Hi, I'm Jenny. Welcome to Mysterious Writings YouTube channel. This episode features the 2020 Mysterious Writings questions with Forrest Fenn, the new era and beginning of legendary status. Enjoy. Four questions for the six. Mysterious Writings 2020 questions with Forrest Fenn, a new era and beginning of legendary status. Visit MysteriousWritings.com for full post. The link is below. The Thrill the Chase treasure hunt launched in 2010 by Forrest Fenn has reached legendary status. Thousands upon thousands of searchers have embarked on a mission to discover the location of a treasure chest filled with extraordinary artifacts, gold, jewels, coins, and a few surprises hidden somewhere in the Rocky Mountains. It's been patiently waiting for a searcher who will correctly identify and follow the nine clues given in Forrest's mystifying poem, Who Will Find His Secreted Cache? This dare presented by Forrest has offered many searchers unforgettable adventures and the challenge of a lifetime. Numerous treasures of a different type have been found, but not those inside the hidden bronze 10x10 chest. Those treasures continue to sit quietly, listening to the whispering mountains surrounding them and anticipating a sign that someone is near. Since the start of the hunt, Mysterious Writings has watched the chase move from the hunt for a treasure to the now legendary quest for Forrest Fenn's treasure. It is always a pleasure and a real honor to be able to catch up with Forrest and ask him a few questions on what he is thinking about the incredible journey he has inspired so many to begin. Let's start. Question one. A new era has begun and 2019 has come to an end. Can you give us searchers an update on how you feel the chase went this past year? Has the treasure chest heard the clomp of searchers closer than 200 feet? Do you feel the Rockies are enjoying the flurry of activity caused by the chase? Forrest answers. Many searchers are being unduly influenced by the blogs. When several people voice the opinion that the treasure is hidden in a certain state, there's a flurry of searchers that head for that state. New Mexico used to be the favorite search area, but in 2019, that popularity on the blog switched to the northern states. Of course, the overwhelming majority of people who are looking for the Fen treasure don't read the blogs, so my opinion is drawn from a very small percentage of searchers. I think the Rockies are happy to see so many first time visitors. Question two. The little girl from India has fueled many a conversation and debate. You have mentioned that she cannot get closer than the first two clues with having your poem in a map of the Rockies and while speaking good English. What would help her get closer to identifying the next seven clues? Forrest answers. She should not let her thinking to get in a rut. Question three. I love the many roles you've shared making for yourself over the years. They truly offer valuable guidance. If you were a searcher of this incredible treasure chest hidden in the Rockies, what rules would you make for yourself? What are a few rules that you feel searchers should make in the chase? Forrest answers, I can't think of any rules that I've made unless you consider clues to be rules. If I were a new searcher, I would study the poem and not use the blogs as a rule book. Safety should always be the first consideration. And question four, it's been nearly 10 years since the chest was hidden and you have launched the chase. Since it's 2020, it seems like an appropriate question to ask would be what vision do you have for the next 10 years, 100 years, 1,000 years for the chase? Forrest answers, my vision tells me that it is only a matter of time until someone finds the treasure. For those new to the hunt, the following is the question and answer where the little girl from India referred to in question two was first mentioned. It was question five of the six questions. Your treasure hunt has inspired people worldwide to discover history, culture, and nature, but many people, even in the U.S., might be deterred because they don't live near the Rockies or can't afford to travel, should they be deterred. Can a little girl in India who speaks good English but only has your poem and a map of the U.S. Rockies work out where the treasure is? And would she be confident as she solves each clue or only confident when she has solved them all? Forrest answers, I wish I had another treasure to hide in the Appalachians. The little girl in India cannot get closer than the first two clues. There are many disabled people who are deeply into maps and geography and they're having a lot of fun. The link to this question and answer is below. Thanks for watching. And as some of you may know, it is that question with the little girl from India which actually inspired the Forest Fan Gold Medallion Treasure Hunts, which Dale and I are now hosting with Series 2. Join the adventures, the links are below, and you may be the next person to receive one of the beautiful Forest Fan Gold Medallions. Best of luck. See you next time.